ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ನಮ ಧರ್ಮ ನಮ ಸಂಗ್ರಹ Okay. I take refuge until I am enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma and the Supreme Assembly by my practice of giving and other perfections. May I reach Buddhahood to benefit all the sentient beings. <clears throat> I take refuge until I am enlightened to the Buddha. Mm, the Dharma and the Supreme Assembly by my practice of giving the perfections may I reach Buddhahood to benefit all sentient beings. I take refuge until I am enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma and the Supreme Assembly by my practice of giving and other perfections may I reach Buddhahood to benefit all sentient beings. <clears throat> May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sentient beings be inseparable from the happiness that is free from suffering. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity. Okay. Good morning yeah, to all of you. <clears throat> so <clears throat> today uh, we haven't uh, uh, finished the uh, discussion on the uh, merit field right yeah. So we will uh, talk and discuss more about the uh, marriage field. So because, uh, uh, not marriage field, sorry. The third one is uh, refuge, you know, the object of refuge, you know. Object of refuge means uh, the Guru, uh, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, like uh, uh, Sangha, Bodhisattva, Bodhisattvas, uh, you know, uh, the solitary realizes here is Dharma, Dagas, and Daginis, Dharma protectors. All of these are included in the object of refuge. To whom we go for refuge in these uh, great, uh, you know, beings. <coughs> so, uh, if you can, uh, if thou can, you know, uh, check. Uh, show the merit, you know, object of refuge. You know. uh, you know. We will explain a little bit about this, you know, the structure. You know. Merit field. Please, you know. please, please, please. Merit field. Yeah, 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 please wait. We have the merit, uh, you know, object of refuge, you know. Buddha Shakyamana in the center, surrounded by all the, you know, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. If you can show the picture, would be helpful. So this is something that important, you know. If we have some idea, you know, how they look like. So it helps you to develop, you know, some kind of devotion for them, in them. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. Perfect. So you see, <clears throat> so these, you know, actually, you know, right now, what you see is, you know, uh, uh, these beings, enlightened beings on the left side, you know, left side, 
uh, face towards the Shakyamuni right. These beings also the right side, all the you know Buddhas and Buddhas are face towards the Shakyamuni Buddha right. And then the, all the bottom ones, you know, it look like face to us, you know. Actually, what really it look like is, you know, <clears throat> this, you know, the uh, merit feel all, you know, these you know, enlightened beings on the your right side, you know, on the right side of the Shakyamuni Buddha, they have one eye, you know, one eye, one eye is uh, all the, all of this, you know, their um, right eye looking at Shakyamuni Buddha, right? Left eye, to you, looking at you, right? Similarly, all the beings on the right side, their eyes, you know, one looking at this and one eye looking at us, right? And then all the beings on the bottom, you know, you know, you see the lines of, you know, there is uh, great beings. Actually, they are face towards the Buddha, but it does not look right. <laughs> you cannot visualize well. So what really happened is all of this face towards you. They are, they are looking at you, right? They see at you. So in this way, you know, <clears throat> normally what really happened is, you know, <laughs> it says that uh, mm, uh, mm, they, you know, uh, there are three ways that they should feel delighted, that they should feel pleased about. Mm. One is, you know, uh, you know, the first in the way of pleasing them is, in general, you know, in general, what really happened is, you know, uh, it, it is said, it is said that, uh, you know, mm, it is very mm, on from our side, from our side, it is uh, difficult uh, to make them delight because, uh, you know, they expect us to do something, you know, uh, which is really meaningful, very purposeful in this very life. But somehow, uh, uh, do we do some kind of, you know, uh, uh, mm, do we do some kind of error or do we do some kind of, you know, uh, mistake? Uh, we do what we are, uh, we do what we are not supposed to do and we don't do what we are supposed to do, right? So in this way, uh, mm, you know, there's no way that we can delight these, you know, the great uh, spiritual beings, you know, great you know uh, holy beings however however at this point of time you know because uh you know we come to understand that uh, we are going to make our life something purposeful and meaningful so therefore you know <clears throat> therefore they're so delighted you know they are so delighted you also come to understand their good qualities the infinite qualities, you know, uh, they have all the, you know, some wonderful spiritual qualities that you know, help us, you know, give a tremendous, infinite inspiration within us, right? And from our side, uh, we, you know, remember and we, you know, recall the infinite number of qualities, you know, out of faith and of devotion, we develop a trust in them, you know, because from now onwards, I'm going to do something very purposeful, meaningful, you know, which then delights these, you know, great beings. They're so delighted that, you know, they're looking at you. They're looking at you with smiling face. They're so happy, you know, out of joy. They, you know, they show the, you know, the expression of the smile, you know, at you, right? So this is one way of delighting delighting these great merit fields, you know, these great you know, spiritual things, you know. <clears throat> and then the second way, you know, uh, way of delighting and pleasing them is, um, so far, since our beginning of this time, you know, uh, 
we call the lower limb, you know. Uh, we call the lower limb. Uh, in a way, uh, you know, we really, you know, kept, we kept lower limb as uh, some kind of, you know, our personal, you know, uh, our kind of residence, our kind of, you know, home for our since beginning's lifetime, you know. It is very, you know, it is very that we have, you know, take the birth as a, you know, human being, you know, as compared to, you know, taking our birth, taking the limitless number of birth in the lower limb, taking the human birth is very rare. The favorable existence, favorable form is extremely rare comparing or taking birth in the lower limbs. So in this very life, you know, in this, in this life, somehow, out of sheer luck or what we call the unit, is some kind of luck that we have taken the birth as a human being. Not only that we have taken the birth as a human being, but we have also, you know, take the such a special human, you know, take, we have taken the birth as a special human being with all the qualities, external qualities, the external, you know, the, the external facilities, the internal facilities, which really, you know, make suitable for us to engage in Dharma practice, you know, to make our life something really meaningful and really purposeful. So they really amaze us, amaze at us. They really, you know, really you know, show the, you know, the sign of wonder that in this way, you know, just our taking the birth as some kind of form which is suitable to practice the Dharma, which really delights them, which they really felt extremely pleased, extremely delighted for, our, for us having all the wonderful opportunity to practice Dharma. We have all the external facilities, we have all the internal facilities. You know, this really make them so happy, so delighted. So this is the second day of delighting them. This great man, you know, uh, the great. So uh, we talk about, you know, uh, the second, you know, uh, uh, there are uh, three ways of uh, delighting, you know, and pleasing them, you know, uh, the object of refuge. Yeah, uh, the, uh, the first one, you know. Poor connection. Yeah, yeah, poor connection. Yeah, it looked like that. Just hold on. Yeah, let me. <laughs> Let me figure it out. But it's echoing anyway. Yeah. Oh, echoing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's echoing. Yeah, it's not echo, you know. Uh, now, can you hear well? Now, this great, you know, the object of refuge. Refuge object seated above the space in front of us. We are here, right, facing them. And then, are we alone? We are not alone. I'm not alone. I'm here, you know. Now in front of me is my, you know, we visualize in front of me is uh, my, you know, what we call as, you know, any or some, someone who really, act, uh, who really give, giving us hard time, you know. So we visualize in front of us. And then in front of your right side is uh, your father. In front of your left side is your mother. On your back side is seated uh, your relatives, the close ones, and your dear ones. And then all of us is surrounded by all the six types of beings, the hell beings, the ghost, all the hungry ghost, all the animals, all the human beings, all the demigods, all the, you know, the gods or celestial beings. So we are surrounded by all these beings. 
right? So we visualize in that way, right? Right. Yeah. Then, uh, but the money, you know, if you have some, you know, still have some, uh, you know, the, some you know, difficulty in visualization, visualizing this object of refuge, you know, then we can visualize in a better way, you know. Then, but the money says, you know, to this group, you know, to uh, the group on your right, you know, the group on your right. Uh, which is, you know, uh, Buddha Matriya, right, for example, right, he say, what is, he say, what is, what is the system, what is the tradition of the extensive path? When he say, what is the system of extensive path? All these masters, all these masters on your left, you know, they discussed, they began to discuss about, you know, uh, now, how to cultivate the bodhicitta, how to cultivate the altruistic mind, you know, the mind of enlightenment, you know, that uh, which, you know, the technique which uh, help us to create, helps to develop the bodhicitta or, you know, bodhitam, altruistic. So then with this, they all engage in discussion about the cultivation of the bodhicitta, altruistic mind. Then uh, he say, the, the uh, left side, you know, which is uh, Master Nagarjuna, right? Then he said, what is the, the system and the lineage of the profound path? Then all of them discussed. All of them began in a, you know, very uh, easily, you know, discussing about uh, the, you know, discussing about the wisdom, you know, uh, how to cultivate the method for cultivating the uh, wisdom. So they all, you know, this merit field, you know, they, you know, uh, engage in the discussion on the bodhicitta system, right? So they are very busily engaged in this, you know, you know uh, discussions on bodhicitta and wisdom. Sometimes, when they do the discussion, you know, this one, sometimes we have show, right, no show. So sometimes they fell down. So when they fell down, you visualize like doing like this. You visualize like this, you know. This is a very, you know, something, a great purpose of doing this, you know. Yeah, sometimes they, when they discussion, right, sometimes they fell down, right, <laughs> this show. So they visualize, you know, they keep up like this. This is the specific purpose, you know. You create a lot of great deal of merit. Right. So in this, you know, like this. So with this, then so. Right. So with this, then what we do is, you know, you know, uh, we we try to, you know, uh, recite the, you know, the verses of taking the refuge. Namo Guru Be, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Dhammaya, Namo Sangaya. So here, here, when we, you know, when we visualize, you know, now you are Namo Guru 
when we say like this, you know, what we visualize is, you know, you know, I'm here, right? I mean, you all, you know, I'm here, right? We are here, you are here, right? So we visualize, you know, we, we are not alone. Your father, mother, your, uh, you know, some enemy, you know, and then on your backside is your, you know, your close one. And then we all are surrounded by all the six types of beings, you know. When we do this, you know, it is very important to visualize, you know, each of these beings, you know, the hell beings going through their own, you know, the suffering of the hell, you know. And the hungry ghosts, they are going through the suffering of hunger and thirst. Uh, then the, you know, the, the animals, you know, they are suffering from the, you know, they are, you know, uh, they are going through the suffering of stupidity and, you know, mental torture. And then human being, we also have, you know, you know, different types of suffering, you know. We have eight types of suffering. We have six types of suffering. We have three types of suffering, you know. Suffering of suffering, suffering of health, the suffering of, you know, uh, pervasive suffering, pervasive conditioning suffering. You know, we visualize like this, you know, we think about this, you know, kinds of suffering. And then in the case of the, you know, the, uh, the demigod, you know, they go through the, they go through the suffering of, you know, uh, suffering of jealousy, jealousy, because they always, you know, raise the war against the, you know, gods, you know, so they feel jealous, you know, by having all the time, most of the time they lost the battle. You know. And then their body also get cut, you know, through the battle. And then in the case of, in the case of the gods, you know, they have the suffering of, you know, the suffering of death, you know, there's such tremendous amount of suffering at the time of death, you know. They, you know, they, it said that they, you know, the mental torture at the time of death is unbearable, you know, immense. And then all the gods, you know, they keep distance away from you. You know, your begin body begin to, you know, collect dust, all these things, the dirt, you know, which when when these gods are very young, you know, healthy, not even the smallest dust on their body, you know. But then when they get old, you know, all the flowers get old, you know, this kind of, you know, different kinds of suffering. In each of the six types of suffering, we go through different levels of suffering, you know. Each of the, these types of beings have their own suffering. And we think about this suffering and, you know, you really develop the sincere wish you know, to do something, you know. Because oh, we ourselves take an example, you know, when we go through different kinds of suffering, eight types of color suffering, six types of suffering, three types of suffering, and then there are limitless number of suffering we go through. And based on our own suffering, then, you know, we really develop the wish, since we wish to free it from this suffering, and also we develop the desire and the wish to free all other beings from the suffering, the level of suffering. So with this, you know, we think about this. If we do this, it helps us to cultivate the compassion. It helps us to cultivate the, you know, uh, the, the genuine unbiased compassion, you know, unconditional compassion. You know. So that is really something important. Otherwise, you know, uh, we try to do the refugees very good, you know, very wonderful, you know, but still it's not enough because it is not, you know, supported. It is this kind of refuge, you know, taking the refuge is not supported by some real genuine feeling of love, of the, the love to give love for these, you know, suffering beings and to free them of their sufferings. Once we are able to, we are able to, you know, to recognize our own suffering and also then, you know, recognize, you know, the suffering of others, then we really develop the love. We develop, really develop the wish to free of their suffering, to save them from the suffering, unbearable and intense suffering. So when we take the refuge, <laughs> this is important, something important, you know. Otherwise, you know, what really happens is because uh, we, when we try to recite the refuge, you know, the, this, uh, uh, you know, the recitation of the refuge almost becoming like, you know, just the mere the words, you know, which is not enough to move your heart. It 
if we are able to really, you know, do in this way, then, you know, sometimes we really, you know, yearn for, you know, we begin to yearn for the blessing. The blessing really, you know, occurs to you. Blessing really, you know, you really receive the blessings from these great things, you know, because it's just not the words, you know, it is something more deeply profound. And, you know, we are doing, you know, with the support of the feeling, the genuine feeling, to do something for ourselves as well as towards the others. Right. right. With this now, we say Namo Guru Be, Namo Guru Be, you know. When we say Namo Guru Be, you know, it looks like now you are the leader. Namo Guru Be, like you are the leader. And all the other beings are following you. They are chanting together with you. You are not alone, you know. When we do this, Namo Guru De, Namo Guru De, Namo Buddha, yeah, like this, you know, we usually we do. But this is not enough. We, while we are doing, you are the chanting master. You are the chanting master. And all the, you know, beings are following after you, doing the same recitation as you, you know, they are following after you. So with this, when we say so, when we say Namo Guru Be, right? Usually, sometimes we say Namo Guru Be, Namo Guru Be, Namo Guru Be, Namo Guru Be, Namo Guru Be. Yeah, if you count like this, you know, sometimes we do this, right? Namo Guru, we can do uh, three times, we can do 21 times, we can do 180 times, you know, it depends on you, you know. Sometimes when we collect, you know, the refuge, sometimes we do in a better, in this way, you know, Namo Guru. So it helps us to develop the more. Clearer, you know, clearer and stable visualization. It have asked you. Because if you do Namo Guru, Namo Buddha, Namo Dhamma, Namo Sangha, you have no time, you know, to spend on visualization. So, uh, right, Namo Guru, but sometimes uh, there are occasions, there are, you know, occasions where we, you know, have to do the refuge formula, refuge, you know, uh, recitations all together. And then there is no you know, exceptions. But somehow, but sometimes if you're alone, you know, when you do the practice alone, it would be helpful, you know, when we do Namo Guru Be, then, you know, when we say Namo Guru Be, right, what we do need to visualize? We visualize. This picture, you see, this picture, merit field, you know, from the merit field. Namo Guru Be, when we say this, the naturalized comes down from their bodies. The naturalized, you know, the fire rays of naturalized comes down from their body. And it it goes through your body here. It goes through your crown. And then this nectar, you know, comes down, flow down through your entire body, fills your entire body. You know, when the when the naturalize begins to fill your body, you know, we visualize all the negativities that we have accumulated since our beginning of this lifetime, all the negativities are flush out, are, you know, release from the pores of your body, from the hands, the finger, from the each pores of your body, in the form of negativities are released in the form of the charcoal, the, the liquid, black liquid. All the sicknesses, all the sicknesses that you have, you know, if you have some kind of sickness, you know, all these sicknesses again, you know, expelled, you know, released from the, the feet, you know, twice, you know, the, the, the tip, tips of the fingers, you know, in the form of frog, snakes, scorpion, 
and all these, you know, animals. And then we have the obscurations and, you know, uh, sometimes demonic influence, you know, demonic influence, you know. So these, you know, evil or demonic influence, again, you know, released in the form of, released in the form of, released in the form of the charcoal, you know, uh, the black, you know, the smoke. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, the, the sickness, you know, the sickness, if we have some sickness, you know, here we have some, you have this pain, that pain, you know, any kind of sickness you have, all these are, you know, expelled in the form of, uh, so blood and pus, blood and pus, yeah. Okay. And all the demonic influence, the spell, the cast, the black magic, the so and so, and so forth, you know, all these are expelled in the form of the, um, expelled in the form of the, you know, the child, you know, expelled in the form of the, uh, uh, the, scor the scorpion, you know, uh, the, the scorpion, uh, you know, the frog, uh, Yeah. And then, right, so like this, Namgur, right, right, so all this, you know, since, uh, you know, we have accumulated all the negativities, the sickness, or all this, are, you know, flush out, you know, your body becomes really cleansed, you know, your body is cleansed, all your negativities are gone, and you really develop the sense of the lightness in your body, the sense of relief. Your body is, uh, you know, something, you know, newly created, right? And then your body finally, Nama Guru Be, Nama Buddha, yeah, Nama Guru Be, right? And Your body, you know, your body finally become like crystal clear body, glass body, translucent, transparent body. You know, it's something like rainbow body. You see? Now you have, you are not going to, you know, you are not going to, you know, go through any kind of sickness. You are not going through any kind of, you know, try your best not to create any negative karma, you know. We are not going to do any kind of, you know, uh, kind of, you know, non-virtuous action, you know. And you are not attacked by any kind of, you know, black magic, that's all, you know, demonic influence, you know. There's no way, you're, because your body is totally transformed into something very pure, you know. And then, right. Then afterwards, then you recite Namu Nam. Right. On hold, yeah. I see it's on hold. No pam. Yeah, okay. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Then when we say, mm, you know, when especially, you know, especially when we say Namu Guru Be right, and especially, most specifically, you know, most specifically, what we need to visualize is when we say Namu Guru Be right. Now, sometimes, you know, uh, sometimes out of, you know, uh, you know, out, uh, mistakenly or unknowingly, you know, sometimes we, uh, you know, uh, criticize one's guru, you know, uh, we criticize our guru, sometimes we, you know, uh, try to disturb, you know, we unknowingly, you know, unintentionally, we disturb the minds of the one's guru, you know, we try to bring uh, the harm, you know, 
uh, physical harm on the one's guru's body, you know, we try to you know, disturb, you know, just uh, bring some harm on the, the you know, guru's speech, you know, we sometimes, you know, showing disrespect, you know, uh, we are not that, you know, respectful, you know. So in this way, you know, in this way, we create again, you know, kind of uh, negative karma, you know, we create some kind of, you know, shortcomings or we create some kind of downfalls, you know. So all these are also purified. All this negativity that we, uh, you know, created, directed to us, one's guru is also, you know, purified, cleansed with the visualization of natural flowing and filling your body. So refuge visualization not easy, you know. So there's a profound, you know, really profound, you know. I, right now we are not trying to go through much detail. If we go through much detail, it takes, you know, just Namu Guru Bay, it takes three hours. Three hours visualization, four hours visualization. I'm not going to do this, you know, we are not going to do this. Because your shortage of time, of course, no way to do this. Of course, this is really a profound vision, you know. <clears throat> then, uh, right, then after that, we say Namo, Namo Guru Be, then Namo Buddhaya, right? So Namo Buddhaya, when we visualize, you know, when we recite Namo, Namo Buddhaya, when we recite this, then what we need to visualize is, again, the nectar, you know, the nectar lights, you know, or five rays of color, you know, uh, flows and descend flows from their bodies and it descended onto you on your crown and you know it then began to descend you know and fills your entire body now you know all the negativities that we have collected that we have accumulated are released in the form of you know the charcoal uh in the form of dust and you know the charcoal the you know, black smoke, you know, black liquid, you know. And then, you know, all the, you know, sicknesses are in the, expelled, you know, in the form of the, the, frog, the snakes, the scorpion, the spiders, you know, these you know, insects. And then all the demonic influence, you know, the evil influence, you know, um, are then, you know, expelled, you know, uh, and released, you know, from the uh, body, you know, you know, from the tip of the toys, you know, uh, from the tip of the fingers in the form of the in the form of the uh you know um, what's that uh um, yeah all the sicknesses all the sicknesses in the form of blood and pus right all the demonic influence in the form of the uh yeah in the charcoal, you know, in the in the charcoal, the black, you know, smoke like this, right? So, uh, and especially, and especially, and in particular, you know, the negativities that we have created, you know, for example, like sometimes, you know, we disrespect for the Buddha statue, you know, we uh, sometimes unknowingly, you know, we you know criticize the Buddhas, you know, we unknowingly or unintentionally, sometimes it happens, right? Sometimes we disrespect the Buddha statues, you know. The, we can make the difference between the the or oh, this Buddha statue is you know inferior. This is you know bad. You know this looks bad. This look and then sometimes we also you know uh, unknowingly we try to you know the sell you know, the statues you know just for profit. You know just for profit and sometimes even the tangas you know we just don't you know we just just don't pay the respect. You know sometimes we leave it on the floor. You know. Just you know, just regarding them as some you know ordinary you know the, the item, right article. So in this way, you know, you create a negative karma, you know. So 
Could I just? So in this way, you know, all these negativities are also purified, totally well purified, and your body is also transformed into the rainbow body, crystal, right? Then up to do namo 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 Buddha ya ya namo ya namo Guru be namo Buddha ya namo namo Dharma ya. Then when we say namo Dharma ya right now, what we need to visualize is now. The nectars again flowing down from the you know these great you know uh, sangha members this great you know supreme assembly you know uh, these uh, beings have you know not ordinary they have really cultivated the real spiritual path you know with the direct wisdom wisdom realizing emptiness and also the altruistic mind the bodhicitta so these beings are really the highest form of you know uh, the community you know uh, sangha community so from their bodies you know. Again, the fire rays of natural light comes down to you and it, you know, it dissolves and it fills your body. All the, you know, all the negativities you know, are expelled you know, uh, like before you know, in the form of the, you know, uh, the charcoal, the, you know, uh, the charcoal, the black tar, the black liquid, you know, and then all the sicknesses in the form of the you know, uh, blood and pus, right? And then all the demonic influence in the form of again you know uh, the, uh, the black liquid these things right and then again and especially now now when we say especially you know sometimes what is really happening is oh this book dharma book or oh, this dharma book is for me you know this is all you know about theory you know or oh, this dharma book oh this is you know something uh, good for me and then we also sometimes make the demarcation, you are Hinayana, I am Mahayana, we are Vajayana, right? Then we make some kind of you know, demarcation, you know. You know, so some, sometimes we also look down, you know, this is Hinayana practice, practice. we are Maha, Vajayana you know, practitioner, right? And also sometimes we also, you know, are then, you know, also the same like this, and Dharma text, we, you know, treat it like already. The Dharma text, and sometimes we you know, leave it on the floor, you know, uh, we leave it outside, you know, you know, even the rain come down, you know, I mean, the, the Dharma text, you know, uh, leave on one shelter, you know, you know, shelter, book shelter for a long time with all the dust, you know, all these things happen. So, in a way, we create a, definitely we create a negative karma, you know, although intentionally you you don't have intention to, uh, to treat in this, you know, uh, holy Dharma books in that way, but unintentionally, you know, we still create negative karma or, you know, some kind of, you know, fraction or doubt. So all these negativities, all these shortcomings, you know, down, uh, you know, fractions, you know, are purified totally. When we say, Namo Namo Guru Be, right? Namo Namo Guru Be, Namo Buddha Ya, Namo Dhamma Ya. When we say Namo Dhamma Ya, now the light rays coming from the, you know, because this, you know, merit feeling, the great spiritual things, on the, on the, you know, on, on each of them, there's a table, you know, table, on the table, uh, three, you know, texts, you know, three volumes, you know, or four volumes. So these texts are in the form of light. These texts, you know, are you know, text, but in the form of light, you know, light. So, emit the sound of, you know, dharma. They emit the sound of from these rays of light, the nectar comes down. This is really important. Because the more we respect, you know, the more we develop the real blessing. If we receive the blessing from the text, you know, really, you know, our, we begin to have, we begin to you know, experience and develop some, you know, spiritual qualities within us. <clears throat> then after that, now, right, and then, you know, your body is also now transformed into the crystal clear body, like translucent body, transparent body, you know. After that, then we say, Namo Buddha, 
நம்ம புத்த நம்ம குரு நம்ம புத்த என் நம்ம தமா என் நம சங்க யா ரைட் நம் வென் யூ சே தட் நம சங்க யா ரைட் அண்ட் தென் அகெயின் ஓ திஸ் ஃப்ரம் தப் திஸ் கிரேட் ஸ்பிரிச் பீங்ஸ் யூனோ த நேச்சுரலைஸ் கம் டவுன் த ஃபைவ் ரேஸ் ஆஃப் நேச்சுரலைஸ் யூனோ கம்ஸ் டவுன் டு யூ அண்ட் கம்ஸ் டவுன் ஃப்ரம் யூர் த்ரோன் and it you know begin to you know dissolve and melt you know it descend filling your entire body you know at that point you know like i said earlier you know all the negativities you know all the you know the demonic influence all the sicknesses you know obstructions are flush out you know in the form of the charcoal in the form of the you know the you know the the snake you know the scorpion and these things you know and the tar the black liquid you know right and especially you know uh, especially the negative reason sometimes we call and the new sort emperors you know oh they're not doing good you know they are you know, doing this kind of thing that that you know i mean in the sometimes in the society this you know wonder about these things like you know. so you know sometimes we criticize sometimes we really disrespectful to the you know the sangha members you know by like this you know sangha community you know in that way you know we also create the negative karma which is pretty heavy you know and, you know serious you know and then all this you know negative the dawn falls or you know some kind of fraction or you know negative karma that we have accumulate directly to the sangha community sangha assembly is all purified right and especially especially you know after with this you know uh, namo guru ve namo buddha ya namo dhamma ya namo sangha ya after you know this now what we need to visualize is now your body is filled with you know the all the natures you know the five rays of nectar and rays of light you know and then you cultivate you know within your you know mind you know within your mind you cultivate all the you know uh you know uh you you have sometimes we have sickness right sometimes we have you know uh, some all this are purified right and then all the you know your life span you have the longevity your life span is increased you know your merit is increased your wisdom is increased your material resources in the crest all the positive qualities you know are increased you know the strength you know the strength the power of these you know positive qualities like the merit the wisdom you know the resources you know good health all the you know positive qualities are increased you know greatly increased tremendously within us you know and especially and especially there are limitless number of qualities in the buddha in the guru buddha dharma sangha all these spiritual qualities that they do have in their mind is born newly within you newly within us and then with this you know from the depth of your heart we are doing you know not uh, you know just from the mouth but from the depth of your heart you know your body is transformed you know as said you know body is really now in the transform translucent you know then 
when you become body become translucent transparent you know then you you know that sometimes you know we go through aging we go through sickness we go through death you know these kind of you know the problems you know the old is aging the sickness we right now right now our body is subject to this kind of you know aging sickness death you know the birth you know we keep on you know we suffer in, in this you know uh nature then by doing this kind of visualization really helps to you know really helps to plant you know store the imprints imprints that your body is going to uh, that you are going to have a, which is beyond aging beyond sickness beyond death from beyond all the problem and troubles that we are facing now Right. So with this, then you know, yeah. Uh, with this, now after that, you really come under the deep protection of the Guru, Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. You come under the perfect protection. At this point, you know, nobody can harm us. You, know. you are going to do what they are, what they want us to do. They wish us to do. We are going to do exactly as what they had intended for us. You know. So with this, we really come under their protection. You know, then you know, uh, we are going to progress uh, spiritually, uh, spiritually, experientially. We are going to progress further and further, and we are not going to, you know. We make our, you know, life something really most meaningful and most purposeful. You know, that is being freed. That is being freed from all the, you know, uh, the problems, the trouble, the obstacles, and all these things. That we are going to fulfill all our wish, the spiritual, you know, quest for the ultimate happiness. Right. So with this, then yeah, right. This Namo Guru Be, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Dhamma, Sangaya, like this, right? So while we do this, you know, Namo Guru Be, like this, you know, we visualize, you know, we visualize, you know, very slowly, you know, nobody's hurrying, hurrying us, making us hurry, you know. If you're doing the hurry, you know, what is the point of doing, you know, this kind of profound, you know, of visualization? So we do in the, you know, in a slow process, you know, with visualization, then our, that we take the refuge. The way that we go for refuge is really something profound or really something experiential, really worthwhile. You know, even if we were to spend the time, enough time, you know, we would, you know, it's the most suitable and appropriate, appropriate to do. Right. Now, with this, you really come under the protection, the protection, right? So this is how we take the refuge. We go for refuge in the Namo Guru Be, Namo Buddha, ya, Namo Dhamma, ya, Namo Sangha, ya, with the complete visualization, the full visualization. Now, with this, we have done the third preliminary practice, which is, you know, which is going, you know, you know proceeding by, proceeding by seven varushana posture, including the, including the breathing meditation. We do the refuge, right? So this is the third preliminary practice, you know. We have completed this third preliminary practice, you know, taking refuge, going for refuge, you know, visualizing the refuge object. 
After that, now we reach the fourth preliminary practice. That is now the visualization of the merit field. Now, right, when we do the merit field visualization, right, merit field means again visualizing, you know, the same, you know, the, the same, you know, uh, uh, visualizing, uh, you know, the great holy beings, you know, enlightened beings uh, in front of us, you know, in the space in front of us above, right? But Right. But now, what What about the you know re object of refuge? What to do with the object of refuge? Now here, you know, we will we have three options. We have three or four options. What to do with the before we begin to visualize the marriage field? What to do with the object of refuge? What we have to do with this object of refuge? What we have to do about the object of refuge? Okay. <clears throat> Right. So uh, now the way of you know or what to do object of refuge is you know, now you already uh, you know we have you know object of refuge in front of us right in the space in the space above you know in the space above in front of us. So one way of you know one way of doing you know each one way of doing with the uh, you know uh, object of refuge is you know. Now, because in the Buddha is in the center, in the center of the object of refuge, right? Now, from the Buddha Shakyamuni's heart, you know, light rays emit, you know, emitted, the light rays emanated or emits. It it emits and you know it strikes towards all the you know object of refuge, the strike towards the body of the old object of refuge. When the light begins to strike. To the bodies of all the object of refuge, you know, the object of the refuge begin to, you know, melt into light, melt into light, light from the edge, you know, from the edge, from the, and then finally, it, finally this light dissolved into the Shakyamuni Buddha, and Shakyamuni Buddha also began to dissolve into light from the head and also from the uh, bottom simultaneously, begin to light, begin to dissolve, and the light becomes smaller, 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 smaller. Smaller and it completely disappeared. Okay. This is one way of doing, this is one way of dissolution of the uh, object of refuge. Right. Now the second way of you know the second way of what to do with the uh, object of refuge is right. The first is dissolve into light, right? It, it disappeared into nothingness, right? <laughs> At this point, if you have good understanding of emptiness, you know, selflessness, you can you know meditate. You can you know meditate on the selfless, not emptiness of the I, the mere I. So here it is very extremely important to meditate on the emptiness, you know. Without emptiness, without meditating on emptiness, you know. That <laughs> sometimes I, I feel in the life the one life is incomplete. Without the wisdom, I would say the wisdom of emptiness, the wisdom of selflessness. This is the real medicine. 
right? So this is one way. Now the second way of doing the, you know, you know, uh, what to do with the object of which is, you know, then. This number first, number one, done right. Now I'm talking about number second, you know, what to do with the object of which. Now again, from the uh, Buddhist you know, heart, you know, the light rays goes out, you know, is tracked towards the body of all the, you know, the, uh, the holy beings, you know, in the object of the refuge, you know, and then the, the object which also begin to dissolve into light, you know, dissolve into light and it, you know, absorb, 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 and it finally dissolve into the Shagimani's you know, heart and Shagimani Buddha's also dissolve into flow, into light from the feet and from the head and until it dissolve into the light. Finally, uh, uh, you know, uh, in the ball, this ball of light now comes and it dissolves into your mid eyebrow here, mid eyebrow, and you think that you receive all the black, the object of the refuge. Yeah. So this is number second way of being, you know, you can choose whichever fits you because everybody's mentality is different. <laughs> some prefer this way, some, uh, everybody don't, does, uh, you know, uh, everybody don't like one food. <laughs> Each people has their own taste, you know, each people has his or her own taste of food. <clears throat> So which one works best for you? You know, works suited for you, you can choose. Now number three, number three ways of doing is, you know, you, you can choose anyone, right? You don't have to choose only one, you can choose any one which you like, you know. Then number third is, you know, now the, you visualize, you know, the, uh, the object of which, you know, you bring it a little bit up there in this, up, you little bit bring up there, up in the space, you know, up in the, up a little bit high, and then below, Below, you visualize, you create the object of, you create the merit field freshly and newly, right? Now that is done by, you know, all of a sudden, very all of a sudden, you visualize the Shagyamani Buddha, you know, again Shagyamani Buddha. Shagyamani Buddha, then the same like this, you know, surrounded by, you know, uh, the lineage masters of the, you know, on the right side, the lineage masters of the, you know, extensive path. On the, the left side, the lineage master of the profound path. And then on the top is, you know, yeah, here again, yeah, yeah, no, no this, uh, yeah. You see, on the lineage master, uh, you know, we don't put the five, you know, lines here on the above, you know, better you have, you know, one line is okay for the temporary, for the time being on the, uh, the lineage masters of the blessed practice, you know, right? And then below the, the lineage, uh, one's own root guru who is surrounded by all the other, your other gurus, you know, it's like this. So we have five, you know, one lineage masters of the extensive path, profound path, the blessed lineage, Shagyamuni in the center, and below is one's root guru surrounded by all the other goals. So we have five five lineage. Right? We have five lineage in this merit field. Right. Now, here we already set up right in front. Now what now what we did, did earlier is you know we raise you know the object of refuge above the you know 
uh, medical right now this object of which dissolve and absorb into the medical field this is the third way of doing it now it is of when the when the object of refuge that we raise up what above now all this dissolve into the merit field new merit field that we have created you know and then at that point you know each of the figures in the merit field each of the figures in the merit field become more magnificent more glorious more magnificent right so with this we have created the merit field right now merit field now here in the merit field's body um white um red ah at the throat blue hum at the heart sa at the navel Yeah, yellow so yeah so yellow so at the uh, navel and then ha green ha at the uh green ha at the cigarette place you know yeah that is you know oh see when i say cigarette place, don't confuse you know, four fingers below the uh, navel four fingers below the navel that is silver place now that we we should we visualize uh, you know the green uh, ha now Now in the merit field, you know, in the merit field now it's uh, more, more, you know, uh, kind of we add more kind of visualization, a slight, you know, more visualization, you know, uh, more uh, and greater visualization than uh, the visualization in the object of refuge. Right. In the object of refuge, there is no syllables, you know, we don't place the syllabus in the merit field. We place the syllables, you know, the five syllables at each other, um, ah, uh, hum, so, ha, right? Um, ah, uh, hum, so, ha, yeah, right. And then, you know, then, you know, we, as the matter field, right, we visualize the matter field. Then in the matter field, you know, facing matter field, you know, then the surrounding, you know, the surrounding of the matter field, you know, then, you know, the lot of the emanations, you know, the emanations of your guru, the emanation of this, you know, merit field. In the merit field, in the, you know, in the outside, outside the merit field, outside the merit field, the surrounding, you know, surrounding of the merit field is filled with the emanation, the limitless number of emanations, like the, the, the snowfall, right, snowfalling, or the, you know, when, we, when the sun rays, there's a sun rays, you know, we do see the particles, you know, the limitless number of particles or the snowfall, so the emanations are filled with the emanations, you know, some emanations going out, you know, to the different lane, you know, to different all the beings, you know, depending on the mentality, you know, they try to fulfill their purpose, you know, in some, you know, uh, some emanations appear in the form of the master, some appear in the form of, you know, the form of the, you know, the leaders, you know, the protectors, you know, so there are the limitless number of, you know, the emanations, you know, trying to bring benefit to all the limitless number of the universe. Then, you know, some are coming and some are coming and taking their seat, you know, some are going out, you know, it's like, you know, for example, when we see some, you know, the even, you know, very big even, you know, busy even, you know, people are, you know, just crowded, right? Or something like this, but they don't touch, you know, in this matter field, you know, some are going, some are coming. Some are going out to benefit, some are, uh, you know, coming after, you know, fulfill their, you know, purpose. So it's filled with like, you know, the snow, the snow falling.
and then on the on the top of the merit field, there are limitless number of celestial beings making offering to this merit field. Limitless number of celestial beings. They make the offering different types, you know, some are, you know, showering the flower, you know, some are, you know, offering the, the fragments, some are offering, you know, the light, the lamb, the water, the dress, all the limitless number of offerings. All right, so this is the merit field, you know. So merit field means, you know, based on this merit field, by relying on merit field, we are going to accumulate a huge, the great, you know, amount of merit, you know, a great deal of merit. So that's why it's called merit field. Right. So when we are beginner, you know, sometimes when we are beginner, you know, our you know state of mind is very weak, you know. Mm, you know, even when we try to do some, you know, dharma practice that is uh, times weak and effective, you know, effective and not that progresses well, you know, flourish well. So under such situation, it is very important to rely on the matter field. Okay, so well, this I think our time is up, you know. <laughs> we it yeah. So yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, we will continue with the, you know, next, you know, right now we stop here, it's a time is up here. Yeah. So we do the. So any, uh, so uh, mọi, mọi người có, mọi người có câu hỏi nào xin gõ vào khung chat ạ. Uh, so anybody who has uh, questions uh, for them, then, Uh, you can tie in the chat box below. If you have a question, and you will come, uh, or you know, we will proceed with the uh, you know dedication. Okay, look like, uh, look yeah. like. No, looks like uh, nobody has questions, so we move on to the dedication. Yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we do the dedication. Yeah. Let us go through the dedication, you know, you know, see the pages in our prayer book. We can. Let us go through the dedication prayer. Okay, okay yeah. Uh, Oh, 
Sajo, Senjore, Boche, Maja, Pana, Gioje, Java, Yama, Mebaya, One Pondo, Pevar, Yanda, Dava, Maja, Pana, Gioje, Java, Yama, Mebaya, One Pondo, Pevar, Shoo, Chambatanya Dove <laughs> ได้บาร์เนจะดาร์คันบาตาคุณตัวสมบูรณ์เทียนเทียนเบเทตากิเกจิสุนดาลอจิยาวาเทตาทางเจราตุงวาเทซังเชเบยาวาทางเจเกม